Hello everyone and welcome to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I've got a algebra problem here for you. Um, I've got E plus E plus E equals 15. E plus C equals 8. C plus E plus B equals 10. And then B plus C times J equals 62. Um, and then the question asks you to solve for what J equals. All right, so this one's actually not that bad. Um, you know, using some substitutions here, solving for one variable at a time, we can actually work through this. Uh, the first, the easiest one that pops uh, out to me would be e plus e plus e equals 15. Um, you can simplify that because e plus e plus e is the same as 3 times e. So if you have 3e equals 15, uh, therefore, e equals 5 when you divide uh, both sides of the equation by 3. Uh, and then the next one we had was e plus c equals 8. Well, if we know that e is 5 and we substitute that, uh, you can see down below here we have 5 plus c equals 8. Uh, and then on the last line here, then um, easy enough, we can solve for c which c equals 3. So already we know that e equals 5 and c equals 3. Uh, then the next, um, next equation they showed us was c plus e plus b equals 10. Well, we substitute what we know for c and e. We have 3 plus 5 plus b equals 10. Well, if we end up subtracting 8 from both sides of that equation, um, we can solve for b, which uh, b now equals 2. So we've got e, c, and b. The only thing we have left is j. So when we go to that last equation where we have b plus c times j uh, equals 62, um, we're going to have 2 plus 3 times j equals 62. And uh, from here, we can subtract 2 from both sides of that equation. Uh, 2 minus 2 on the left is, you know, you don't have anything left but 3j, 3 times j. On the right side, 62 minus 2 is 60. So we're down to simplifying this to 3j equals 60. Uh, if you divide both sides of that equation by 3, we're left with j equals 20. So the answer to this problem is j equals 20. Um, hope this uh, solution has been helpful, and um, I will see you in the next one.